Hi there, Carla with you for Coffs Harbour Council's Living Lightly program. And there's nothing better than a good cup of tea to help us through the tough times. And your garden is no exception. It loves a good cup of tea to help it go, especially coming into the summer months here. Help it thrive, get those nice strong cell walls happening, get that nutrient uptake in the roots and really build up its resilience for the hotter summer months ahead. There's a couple of different ways you can make a liquid feed. Liquid feeds are really good because they can be uptaken much faster than say putting something solid on your garden like compost which takes time to break down and become available to your plants. Liquid feeds are actually really readily available. Making your own at home is really easy. You can make even a seaweed tea out of seaweed that you collect from the beach as long as you follow the collection rules for seaweed from the beach. You can put a bit of compost or some worm castings in some water and take the water off that and use it on your garden. Or you can make a weed tea out of unwanted plants in your garden. Look, what you need is really simple, just a bucket with the lid, okay, and you're just going to get those weeds that you don't want in your garden. Try to avoid the ones that are already going to seed, like ripe seed, you probably want to avoid those ones. But pop those weeds in the bucket, fill the bucket up with water, completely submerge those weeds. You can either get it to break down with the presence of oxygen, so an aerobic weed tea, which will involve you stirring pretty much or aerating it every day while it's sort of brewing um, or setting up some automatic aeration system. Or you can do an anaerobic, so without the presence of oxygen weed tea, and that is really just put the weeds in, put the water in, cover it and forget it for a couple of weeks and then uh, use it on your garden. So it's quite simple. It's really good to add some um, deep rooted sort of plants like comfrey. I've got some comfrey here behind me. Uh, the things, the plants and the other weeds in your garden that really bring up those subsoil nutrients and minerals because then when you make this weed tea, it will become available and back to your plants that you actually want to grow and thrive. So really that's about it. Get it in the bucket there. Let it sit and decompose for a couple of weeks. When you're ready to use it, you want to strain it out because you've got all that sloppy, broken down, stinky <laughs> weeds. It will be a bit smelly. Maybe use some gloves as well because you probably don't want it all on your hands. And then you need to water it down, dilute it to about one to 10, 10 parts water, one part of that weed tea. Everyone says, so it looks like a weak cup of tea and then water it around those plants that you really need to get stronger and healthier for the coming months. So just get out there, give it a go. It's a great way of getting rid of those unwanted weeds, great way of putting all of those nutrients and minerals that those weeds have taken out of the soil back into the soil as well. Give it a go. What do you got to lose? <laughs>